Hey guys, so today I have a book review for you, and that review is on Out of the Easy by Ruta Sepeti. Sepetis? Sepetis? I'm not entirely certain. Out of the Easy was published on February 12th, 2013 by Philomel Books. It might be Philomel. I'm not doing well with names today, it seems. Out of the Easy is the story of 17-year-old Josie, who is the daughter of a brothel prostitute in 1950s French Quarter, New Orleans. Josie's always wanted more for her life. She's never enjoyed the life that she's had to leave because of her mom's occupation, though she is grateful for some of the things it's brought to her and the people it's brought into her life. She wants more, and this is the story of her coming to realize what it is that she wants out of life, as well as a murder mystery. She meets a man in the French Quarter who she really connects with, and then the next day he turns out to be dead, and her mother might be involved. I'm gonna first talk about the characters because they were really realistic. None of them were too perfect, they all had flaws, and they really brought to life some personality types not often seen in YA fiction, such as the mother who blames the daughter for ruining her prospects and how great she could have been in her profession, and the really badass female brothel owner puts into perspective what brothels meant during that time, and it was also a picture of success different from the success that Josie herself seeks in the book. Additionally, the friendships in this book were really organic and interesting and different from normal friendships. They weren't always very conventional, which I really enjoyed. As for the story, I was so invested. From the second I read the back of the book or the flap or whatever, I was so invested in the story and I really cared about every single twist and turn that the story took and it had me on the edge of my seat the entire time. The book also deals with a lot of class issues, more specifically Josie's idolization of the upper class, which is actually personified by a girl she meets throughout the course of the novel. I thought that brought something really interesting into the book because in a world of celebrity magazines and the bling bling, that idolization is obviously still very prominent today. If you've read Sepetti's other novel, Between Shades of Grey, which I have not, but I've heard very many amazing things about, you will know that she has a very beautiful style of writing. I can't really put my finger exactly on what it is that she does, but she brings you into her worlds with such ease and grace and it's so beautiful. She makes you feel like you're going along these experiences and meeting these people and having these friendships right there with Josie, and it's really interesting and unique. Overall, I gave Out of the Easy five out of five stars, and I would definitely recommend it to anyone who wants to break free of the series and dystopia that's kind of running rampant in the YA world right now. Not that those things aren't amazing, but it's a nice break from that. It's definitely been one of my favorite books that I've read this year so far, and maybe even one of my favorite YA standalone novels. Let me know if you have any historical fiction YA books to recommend to me, specifically set in New Orleans because I absolutely love that city in fiction. I've never been there in real life, but in fiction I think it's fantastic. I've read a few before, which you can see in my Goodreads that I will link down below, and yeah, I will see you guys next time.